Alan, it was Scotland's first win in Cardiff in 22 years. You see this week Ian Madigan coping a bit of flack, just saying when he was asked in studio, you know, that second half performance, did that make Scotland, even though they got they got the win, be a bit more, and he felt it was they were more fragile. Do you think it's fair enough to get that flack, or do you actually um, think they've won the game, it doesn't really matter? I think they've won the game, and, and essentially... It, it's a different feeling when you're as a player out there and you're winning a game comfortably and a team comes back and frightens the life out of you you know you could even see the reaction it, it, they weren't jumping around the place if you'd given it to them before the, the game to win by a point yes they'd have taken their hand off um, I fancied him to win anyway Scotland um, fragile is probably the some Scottish people will take offence to that but they're inconsistent and that's the reality and you know, there's a lot of good players in that Scottish team and I had a real fear last year for Ireland and Murrayfield. I remember thinking, I think this Ireland are really going to earn it here. It's going to be so difficult. And, and will I, you still have fear in round five? Oh yeah, of course, yeah, because I think they're very good players. I think Ireland, and, and I, I'd say this again, it's not being cocky. The evidence is there for the whole world to see that this Irish squad and team have been really good and are still really good. And they're probably a level above most teams. Um, they're justified in the ranking. You know, in 2019, Ireland were number one for a while. It was very false ranking. Um, their ranking last year and, and now is is actually where they're at. They're up there at the top two or three teams in the world. And that's the reality. Yeah. You have to say that. Um, they've proven that. Scotland are a team that are some brilliant players um, real quality when they get their kind of mojo going they can cause all sorts of problems for teams um, so you know even Ian saying fragile is like I wouldn't be taking that as an insult I, I'd be taking that as look I saw some stuff online from Scottish people saying that oh well you know we believe uh, we we've been accused of winning Cup, Grand yeah. Slams and we've been accused of being cocky and all this stuff I don't think that he certainly didn't mean that because um I think it's just a consistency and that's the reality of it. And um, there's so much talent in that back line, oh, yeah. you know, isn't there? Phenomenal. Sorry, you never know, mind the forwards, phenomenal, but there is. Phenomenal. Um, unbelievable players in that Scottish team. Um, players that I would have massive respect for in a sense that I, I watch these guys a lot and I just go, wow, they're, they're really, really good players. Um, it's just that consistency. So maybe it is a little bit of a mental thing, but maybe it's part of our journey in a sense of a lot of these ups and downs to get to a point where culturally they're they're they have a seamless transition when players come through into the into into the squad and stuff like that and um on their day of course they can beat anyone um but you know there's a few losses there and inconsistencies that they've just got to take on the chin so very dangerous side and a side that could could actually challenge for the championship even beforehand we were thinking France Ireland Scotland are next probably England a uh, little bit unknown with England Wales rebuilding and you know Italy you know and the evidence we've seen they're 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 very dangerous, but, um, you know, Scotland will have a big say. But let's see now on Saturday, they've got France at home. They're going to t be, be dealing with a real beast um, mode scenario from the French. And I think France are, you know, you'd be asking us for predictions at the end. But I think Scotland will get a real bounce off getting that win. First time in 22 years, as you said, and it was a really positive day for Scotland.